Tesla may be EV trendy, sexy, and reliable. Here's the truth about electric vehicles, their reliability, and how Morpheus ties into it. Yes, Morpheus from The Matrix. People have jokingly called Teslas and other EVs external combustion engines because of some images circling online of EVs on fire. But how likely is it? About just as likely as your gasoline-powered engine is to catch fire. According to an investigation by Battelle for the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, the propensity and severity of fires and explosions from lithium-ion battery systems are anticipated to be somewhat comparable to or perhaps slightly less than those for gasoline or diesel vehicular fuels. The fires themselves are different in nature. Lithium-ion battery fires require more heat to ignite. This is called a thermal runaway. All gasoline needs is a spark or a flame, so lithium-ion batteries have a significantly lower risk of causing a fire or an explosion. These battery packs are surrounded by a cooling liquid to prevent them from reaching the thermal runaway. For a lithium-ion battery to be exposed, they would usually need to have a significant external damage done to them from a grave accident to blow. If we look at fires from the per million mile driven point of view, there are approximately 5 EV fires for every billion miles traveled, compared to 55 fires per billion miles traveled in gasoline cars. From that point of view, EV fires are 11 times less likely than gasoline fires. EV fires are more newsworthy, as EVs in general and new boisterous technology with bold and world famous CEOs are under more scrutiny in general. Although the image of that parked white Tesla Model S spontaneously combusting in that parking garage in China burns bright in our collective consciousness, keep in mind that we're still early in the data collection process for EVs and we'll need a lot more to make definitive intelligent inferences. The caveat of EV fires is that they're harder to put out. Lithium-ion battery fires are still newer to emergency services. It takes more effort and water to tame the flames burning burning all the energy stored in the battery pack. Maintaining a charge between 20 to 80% and avoiding leaving the car charging unattended overnight can help reduce the risk of fire. The Consumer Report surveys yield data from hundreds of thousands of vehicle owners, including serious problems they've experienced with their cars, such as something that breaks or malfunctions. It's important to note that EVs typically have more problems than other vehicles. As of December 2022, Consumer Reports concludes that the Tesla Model 3 is the second most reliable electric vehicle you can buy, behind 2022's drama-free Kia EV6. You know the one with um, the robo-dog in the commercial. The second generation Nissan Leaf takes the third spot on Consumer Reports' EV list. The top auto manufacturers in the world, according to Consumer Reports, are number one, Toyota. Number two, Lexus. Number three, BMW. Number four, Mazda. And number five is Honda. 2022's most reliable car is the $25,000 Toyota Corolla Hybrid, a solid choice, but it doesn't light up like the $50,000 Tesla Model 3 when you activate dense mode. The rankings are no real surprise. These big names in the automotive game have way more real-world carryover data from parts that have been tried, tested, and true for much longer. Tesla ranked 19th on the list of most reliable automakers in 2022. Why so low? EV makers like Tesla have been working at problem solving on their vehicles from a highly theoretical standpoint. Imagine trying to solve all the problems you'll meet in adulthood as a teenager. No matter how bright you are, there will always be blind spots. Tesla has only been making cars since 2009, and many of the traditional gasoline car makers have only been dipping in the EV market for a decade. In theory, EVs should be more reliable than their gasoline counterparts. Fewer parts, less wear items, simpler transmissions that don't require fluid, and streamlined ignition and fuel systems. Your valve trains and exhaust systems are also less complicated. No engine oil to change, no spark plugs to swap, no endless hours looking for a water pump leak. Regenerative braking should be easier on the braking system in the long run. So where are the problems coming from? Along with the complex battery packs, there's room for issues with charging. Although they get tested in labs and in all kinds of conditions by test drivers, the data from electric drive motors is not as valuable as the real-world data available from the people who have been driving gas-powered cars from 
Fords and Chevys for over a century. The unique heating and cooling systems that are required on EVs don't use a tried and true gas engine. So it's going to run into problems, especially in extreme heat and cold. New features equals new problems. There's also the misunderstood autopilot and self-driving problem that has caused accidents. Many people believe that Tesla's $6,000 autopilot did not require a fully attentive driver who has their hands on the wheel and is prepared to take over at any moment. The $15,000 full self-driving mode will be able to fully take over the control of the car should you wish it to. However, it cannot do everything, so some effort will be needed from time to time. While these driving features are designed to become more capable over time, the currently enabled features do not make the vehicle autonomous. So no, you cannot take taken up in your moving Tesla. Tesla is leading the pack in terms of EV production and its name is synonymous with EV. 365,963 EVs have been produced in 2022's third quarter and an estimated 511 units in its fourth quarter. Tesla accounts for approximately 63% of all EV sales in the US. But there are other major players lurking in Tesla's shadow. Lucid Air, a relative newcomer to the EV game, is an unofficial Tesla Model S Slayer. Lucid Airs start at $87,000, with a Dream Edition going all the way up to $170,000. Remember, the Tesla Model S Plaid is only $107,000. Where it's looking to leapfrog over Tesla is in the driving range department. 520 miles on a single charge. That's further than New York City to Cleveland, Ohio. The Model S Plaid can only do 345 miles. The Lucid Lucid Air is having teething issues, like a slow infotainment system, cruise control that often needs to be rebooted to work, and laggy blind spot cameras that could be a hazard. Still, the Lucid Air is a worthy adversary to the headline hogging Tesla. Starting at $26,000, just a little more than a Corolla, the Chevy Bolt EV is a pretty little Tesla alternative. The range isn't quite as great in comparison to Tesla's 259 miles on a single charge, but it still have the price of a Model 3. It's less reliable than your average car with some well-documented powertrain and electrical issues, as well as an urgent recall on some bolts in 2022 for the seatbelt issues that could reportedly cause fires. That piled onto its mundane appearance doesn't make for the high school reunion oh my god, look how well they're doing kind of appeal, but money matters, and this is by far your best choice for an EV on a budget. You've also got the bigger, better Bolt EUV, starting at $28,000 if you can squeeze a little more out of your budget. If you want a Mustang but have a family or surfboards you want to haul around, the Mustang Mach-E might be your way to go. Its starting price is at $48,000, and you benefit from Ford having been around for 120 years, plus its 300 mile range and quick and agile abilities are no joke. But problems include freezing infotainment displays, charging problems, electrical issues and battery concerns, typical EV issues. But the Mach-E is still a strong EV choice. If you've seen The Matrix, you might remember Morpheus saying, there's a difference between knowing the path and walking the path. See, I told you we'd go back to The Matrix. If you want a sure thing, Teslas and EVs aren't quite for you yet. They're an expensive endeavor in which many of their risks are known and most of the complications are to be discovered by walking the path with them. If you have roughly double the budget you'd need for a reliable hybrid or gas-powered car and are ready to shoulder the new tech risks of an EV, then go for it by all means. And the only person I ever knew with a gas station at their house was Bruce Wayne in Batman Forever. So Teslas and the EV movement have changed that. So there's that. I'm Claire from hotcars.com. Check out our website for the latest and greatest in automotive news and make sure to tune into my next video where I'll be talking about the truth behind how cars are really painted. Bye!